Okay folks, here we are treating uh, with oxalic. We call this device the bazooka. And uh, I'll maybe break it down a bit more in a second, but it uh, runs off of a generator and air compressor in the truck. So there's two hoses that feed it, one for uh, heavy wire and an air hose. And we're skipping a bunch here just because of the, the treatment site. Dave, got one here. We'll have to go back around. So we're only doing the hearts in this uh, in this evaluation. The thinking about this uh, unit is that the oxalic is super cheap, and you the dosage is uh, pretty pretty tolerant to overdose. So we're just gonna blast it in there. Usually about 20 seconds. Yeah, okay. They're just gonna move the truck slightly. You do wanna be pretty careful with this stuff. Dave's wearing a respirator. And I'm being careful to stay upwind. A small amount of this would not be uh, terribly harmful, but if you get a lung full of it, uh, you, that's not going to be a good thing. Okay, now just do the rest. I added uh, that nylon strap to the machine just to make it a little bit easier to handle. These don't seem to mind it too awful much. when the lid's open, we'll see if it comes right out the top. You can see it venting right out the top there. To so close the rest of the lids, Dave, I'll see if I can do that. Okay, it's going to get pretty noisy here, so I'm just going to over voice over this. So I've got everything attached to a pallet. I've got the reel to wind up the hoses, generator to provide the power, 
air compressor to provide the compressed air, and I built a little box to hold the, uh, the bazooka itself. It is hot, so I have, you, gotta be, you can see how it's been a little bit hot on the end there. I have this old spring mounted there to keep the uh, hot metal away from the wooden box, and it rests on that while we're traveling. The whole thing's attached to a pallet so I can load and unload the truck with the forklift very easily. And that's how we use oxalic acid. We can do lots of hives really quick. Thanks a lot everyone. Have a great day.